Are you looking for a great holiday movie? Then why don't you see 127 Hours? Now it stars James Franco and is based on a true story. Now you probably remember this story. There was a guy hiking in Utah who has a boulder ball in his arm. And he gets trapped in this isolated canyon in which eventually he amputates his arm. Now, I knew the guy was eventually going to amputate his arm. But for some reason, the director, Danny Boyle, decided it should be realistic and show the guy cutting his arm off with all the blood. I don't know what the point of that was. Like, why does the movie have to be that realistic? One thing I thought that made this movie good was Danny Boyle is able to really give you the sense, this feeling of how it would be to be in the middle of nowhere where nobody can actually find you and you have your arm trapped under a boulder. One thing I liked about this movie was it wasn't a hundred percent depressing. Because I remember the movie about the World Trade Center and I thought I don't want to see that movie because it just seemed like a depressing movie. And you just you just knew okay those people in the movie well a bunch of them are gonna die and that seems really terrible. Now, with this movie, I thought it was a lot better. It did make me want to answer some questions. Why would you go hiking alone and not tell anybody where you are? And number two, why don't you hike with a cell phone? Why don't you carry a cell phone? I don't know. This has been a review for 127 hours. It's rated R and currently in theaters.